What's going on guys? Magdalen here with a real quick update on my quest to acquire a mage blood. I've been messing around with the Atlas passive tree a little bit, moving some stuff around. I wanted to try strong boxes, so I went ahead and grabbed all the available nodes for those, as well as the additional four shrine nodes that I don't normally take. Still not 100% sure if this is a good node or not, but we're gonna grab it. I'm also grabbing this node here for some extra Conqueror maps. And we're just giving that a try. I've done quite a few maps, and so far I don't know if it's a currency increase or decrease in terms of how much I'm making. But the strong boxes occasionally do some kind of wacky shit. Uh, I've had a couple times where I dropped 10 awakened sextants from one box, so that's kind of cool. Add a duplicated exalted orb, so on and so forth. So some fun stuff can happen with those. We are at 242 raw chaos and climbing pretty steadily. Still have about eight items to sell. Might be another one hiding in another tab. Having a little bit of trouble moving this stuff, and so I might lose my ass on some of these items. But um, nonetheless, figure we'll jump into a map here. I'll show you how that's going. Yeah, we'll just cruise through one of these. Haven't really changed any of the scarabs that I'm using aside from throwing in a rusted ambush. Oh, okay. We'll take that. I don't know if you can expect for that to be... <clears throat> All right, we'll we'll take that as well. I haven't had haven't had that happen before. Uh, not just off of regular packs of mobs. Anyway, as you can see, the strong boxes are pretty fun. I feel like now anything I do or say, and see, not here. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes you'll get these. And they'll be reopenable. And that's kind of fun. I believe those are the ones that, for whatever reason, I've been getting the stacks of sextants out of. Or maybe there's another modifier that can happen with those that causes that to happen. Or maybe I'm just mistaken. But um, I've gotten quite a few winged scarabs out of them as well. Two of which were Harbinger, which was very nice. Did a couple juicy maps with those. And basically, I can't seem to stop sustaining maps. So, I had, up until very recently, been working under the assumption that I had to have something going to increase map drop rates, or or at least I was going to have you know, less than a one-to-one -one return. But so far, no matter what I do, I seem to have more Tier 16 cemeteries on hand than I can run through. And so... See, here's a, I believe this is a double, oop, we just got DD. That is another element, oops, that's another element of the strong boxes that I'm not a fan of, is you have to, I mean, you have to run away from them after you open them, or occasionally you'll just get murked. But we're level 100, so we don't care. I've just kind of been having fun running through them. Let's cruise on back down here. Yeah, see, there's a, a pretty decent amount of scarabs. And for a while there, it seemed like a lot of people were shying away from strategies that were scarab heavy. Okay, can, can I have it? Thank you. Um, I never had a problem where I had so many scarabs that I didn't know what to do with them. And so, even given that pretty frequently you'll get a string of altars that gives you quite a few scarab drops off of the influence mobs, I really haven't been upset to have the extra influx from the strong boxes. So I don't know, give it a try. 
as I said, I don't, I don't know. In my case, I sort of gave up Beyond and Delirium nodes for Strongbox, Shrine, and some additional Quant. And that is probably not going to yield you the most currency. All right, swing over here, finish the boss up. Move this while the Harbinger dies, and that's the map. So, I mean, if we take away the two raw X, you know, I got a little little bit of stuff from the Harbingers, and then quite a few scarabs actually from the from the boxes that turned out to be the main source of uh, items that I was actually picking up in the map. So, that's where we're at. That's what a map looks like. Build's running good. Uh, don't stand in detonate dead. And I hope whatever you're up to is proving to be fun and enjoyable and profitable, all of those things. I will be back in a couple days to update you. I'm hoping to really start ramping it up here as I'm, I'm beginning to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. And so I'm motivated to farm a little bit harder. I may begin to switch a little bit towards profit over fun just to get this out of the way. I'm afraid that if I take too much longer, I'm gonna start running into the end of the league wackiness with the market and I don't wanna end up having to pay an, you know, another 100, 200 exalt for the same item. So that's where we're at. I will be back with another update soon. As always, please hit that like and subscribe button and I appreciate you.